I'm live. Yes, Cervantes is back. This bot set up. There we go. Couldn't find my dashboard. Dude. It just disappears. There. there we go. Hotel Hardpoint. Do Seattle hold the big secrets? The secret of how to take a map off LAG? Because no one's figured out the answer in quite some time. Good trade and silvers with a double on the snipers. Gonna get Seattle off to a good start here. LAG may just be worrying about P2 as usual. Penis gets a free two kills there. Silver should have the trade here. Yep, there it is. Yeah, they're still sending two people. Oh my. And uh, they've been absolutely wiped off the base of the earth. Well, now, now look what's happened though. Look what's happened. Number seven, Kelly, has rotated all the way through P2. And he might have got them spawns. No, they're going to spawn up by far. So, hard to tell what's going to happen here. LAG still have the good spawns, but Kelly's going to be here for some early pressure. Herrera, make sure it ain't happening. Silver's going to come through the side door. Throwing out a shock stick. He's going to hit. And it's going to give Kelly a free kill. Contest is in. But he's going to die on the LAG side. Bar one man, and that's the goat kutcher. Out of sight of Herrera, doesn't matter. And then Seattle Surge, showing them how it's done at the minute. 42 to nothing, Silvers with a sniper rifle. Currently top fragging. Herrera, I love that drop to the floor, to try and get that kill. In the end, not gonna matter. Cervantes now on a 5, has to reload the LMG. Brilliant start here from Seattle Surge as we're going to rotate round to the Kitchen Hill. Seattle on the foot race. And Seattle are probably going to win this foot race as well by the looks of it. Silver's again going to be the man first in there. And LAG just haven't woken up yet. Oh, now Silver's got a Glock. And the way the Glock performances have been recently. I mean. Uh, that, that's a free three piece for silvers. LAG not fully focused. <laughs> uh, I didn't even clip it, it was that good. Pino with three. Trying to get something going for his team here as they're on a whopping 13 seconds so far in this hard one. I mean, the KD, the KD all round for LAG isn't bad, and the KD all round for Seattle isn't bad either. It's just they've been losing the rotations every time. Yeah, bro, LAG win one event and they think they're first. Unbelievable. And there's the pinch from behind on Miller. Kutcher's got the Glock out. Here comes the pressure from Cali. Can the Glock be reloaded in time? Absolutely not. Seattle surge. Break back into the hill. Two kills from Herrera. Cervantes finds Paris. Cervantes finds Pena. Does get dropped by Kutcher before he's traded out by Miller. And that is going to be another chunk of time going the way of Seattle. The LAG can't afford to give them too much more this time. As their nine map streak is about to go up in flames. Uh, it doesn't matter now though. Gotta rotate. Seattle again, getting some very nice spawns. Two snipers are gonna be your first guys here. That's not what you wanna see. And again, it's just everybody dying. Herrera has 
to finish this reload and go huge. Unless Perez just does everything for him. Which he does. That, I mean, I am upset I wasn't on the Perez POV there. Because that's, that's a 4k. That's a lot of feed from Perez. Let's see what he's up to now. He's dead. Cursed him. Imagine Kutcher turns on him in the smoke. That would have been nice. Kelly falls. Time. Finally a decent chunk of time going the LA. Maybe they're not out of this match yet. As we're going to rotate around to the patio side. Spawns should be there for Seattle as Perez runs through everybody. And Herrera's gonna fall, or did Herrera get the kill in mid-map? I'm not sure. But they've got a free route through mid here, which is what they're gonna take. And Herrera really needed to do better there. Really needed to do better. Perez is trying to do some insane wallbang with a machine pistol. Which just isn't going to happen, and Cervantes has got three. Does finally fall. Check the PC. Kutcher. Kutcher having another bad hard point. This would be the greatest comeback the bot league has ever seen. Cervantes with a double though. He's opened the door. Silvers. His wingman. All of LA Drew. Dead on the point. Silvers is still going back on P1 with the sniper. And that's going to be the map in Seattle Surge. And the LAG streak. They make LAG look human. First team to do so. In a long time. The Surge, who crashed out of cup number one without a win. Trying to find their first CDL points of the season. Yeah. The only thing, bro. McCabe's an OG. Here he is. think so that's too dead anyway that should be a free plant on the uh, the b site for the lag and as always raise is going to come on the rotation actually this is not the usual route of rotation i oh, know maybe it is i don't know he finds one can't find anything more in home this is the usual rotation through these doors Okay, bro, he's got a free kill on me right here. Oh my god, he got knifed into a not state. Alright. I didn't know that was even possible. To get throwing knifed and then into a knock. Yep. Round on the board for LAG. Now, they may have lost the map streak, but LAG are still, you know, pretty good at search and destroy. They've still won, you know. They had 10 search and destroy round wins in a row. They lost that streak, still won that game 6-2. They're pretty lit at s and Interestingly enough, none of Seattle Surge gets stuck on the flagpole. Do you remember that? Someone would always get stuck in the flagpole. Mm, doesn't happen. Oh, wow. Meishiro has just... Assassin's created. He's fine too. Oh, he has to pick up bomb. And he's going to go plant. 
Oh, I thought Esposito was coming to A and he was going to catch him on the plant. It's going to be a 1v1. That was a free kill for Esposito if he committed to it. What way does Esposito look? Going to throw a nade off the start. It's not a bad nade. And the stun's not bad either. Oh, it's sharp shots from Esposito. I was wondering where I was shooting at the start. But the recovery was beautiful. LAG 2 0 up. Tuna left from the back of Cave's three piece. I think the game saw Kutcher's lackluster performance and it was like, okay, we need to we need to swap him out for another OG, someone of similar veteranship. I don't know. Yeah, that is there a word? I don't know. Yeah, I was trying to use the word veteran or a concoction of it. This bomb's gonna go B. Me a share. It's gonna fight the entire Mexican wave. Hong is doing that run down the middle of the map. Yep, okay. And Hall's gonna be here pretty quick. Oh my god, I catch one. Oh, it's not a sniper you want there. Speaking of sniper, here's another one. That ain't gonna do it either. I mean, you you said that Hong doesn't know how to get to the objective in round one. I was like, that's a bit harsh. And now he's out here proving you right. He might still win the round. But... Oh. I'd like to point out that McCabe just got another three kills that round. LAG, 3-0 up. I do want to say, though, that Crown Raceway is one of those maps where, like, 3 nils become 3-4s very easily. Oh, no. Um, and again, nobody stuck on a flagpole. This is inspirational. Keep that line, keep that line. Spots me a shero. Free kill for Hagar. Can he find one more? Thermite. Thermite might get the kill, actually. Oh my god, they're both in it. Oh my. Oh, that was for all of them. And the cabes there to close it out. LAG. Their third. S and D 4-0 of the season. They've done that three times now. McCabe just got an 8kd. Call him up 5, okay. You're batting on LAG to lose a search after what we just watched? That would make absolutely no sense in any other situation, but because it's the bot league, it makes absolute perfect sense. Kelly with the first blood. Why has that just happened? This is a strange start, as Kelly is all the way in the back, behind the LAG players. As LAG are taking their time capturing A. He is, for some reason, trying to kamikaze himself. And that's going to be a nice A capture. Nice and easy for LAG. Clean start. Um, they're going to take the mid push. Who's going to be the first man to see a gunfight? It's going to be the goat. The goat's going to fall. 
darts out and we I'm still here for Seattle though. Silver's coming off spawn. Pina absolutely just removed. I might get another. Can't find another. Capture coming in. The support is there. Throw knives and shock sticks. That's an absurd win from Herrera. And another. Oh, and another. Give him one more. Pina takes it. And that B point is going to be gone. LAG. A nice round one. Okay, mom. Man, we need to be we need to be careful we don't get DMCA for all that, bro. Callie's gonna fall. Herrera, the only man over here at the A point, and the only man at the A point is now dead. Kutcher. One whole gunfight that entire first round. He lost it. 0-1. As he slides in to get the contest and he's gonna become 0-2. A point is going to go. A bit of um, a bit of roster mania intel is that um, sources believe that LA thieves have interest in Kami. Yeah, it is interesting. Well, Kami, I mean, Kami can fry, bro. He's proved it before. Miller is frying not. Dude, look at look at the way Rocker ended the season. That's gonna. I, mean, I think the whole the whole team of Rocker done pretty well. Miller is. Give him another. Jesus. There's just a smoke and I cannot tell what's happening. Silver's a stump. I find a double. Nearly find a triple with a machine pistol out. Perez has blew himself up. In literally the spawn room. Herrera with another huge double kill. 7-7 seven to seven on the life count. This could go either way now. Miller gets the first blood. Perez trades it out. Push coming down luggage. Kutcher with a big win. Kutcher with another huge kill. Shot from behind. Herrera has to try World Star. It's not gonna... Perez has just stood in the middle of the map doing nothing. Is Perez okay? Somebody send a doctor. Kutcher with a big snap kill. Didn't see Miller down luggage, and that shot's going to give him away. 30 seconds, it's a 3v3. Going to play on these stairs, that's a huge win. Cervantes. Trying to throw a shot. Managed to be here. Oh my god, from behind! Not going to happen. LAG take the defensive round win. Well, I would argue you would sort of want LAG to win this if you wanted to go game five. LAG's hard point was not quite it, but maybe they were just maybe they just started off slow. Maybe they're gonna three zero this control. I mean, if their offense in round one was anything go bad, look at this—they've three hit B side this time. Perez is going to get stunned, so he's going to be of no use. Cervantes has found another. Kelly's found another. Oh, Down 
B hip fire is just about gonna do something, and the B capture is gonna start ticking in. First guy gonna be back is Cervantes. What can he do here? He's ah, gonna have one of the weirdest gunfights I've seen in a long time with Perez, and he's gonna lose. It. And Seattle Surge, we're just gonna chalk it up. Silver's gonna make one last heroic play to find one, to find two, not to find any more. Miller gonna try cut them off early, I don't mind that idea, and there's the knife kill. Okay. That is fair enough. Get get the joggers on. In the meantime. Herrera with the double. Pitcher's throwing knife, gonna miss. Still not having himself, still not finding form. Perez, though, cuts through rugs. Blinds himself. Perez is honestly maybe got something wrong with him. Nine lives to eat. Cervantes with another big win. 6 and 12, although this round he has been the shining light for Seattle Surge. Trying to get a flank going, it's not going to happen. Two members, of, three members of LAG now in the point. Seattle need to get a move on. Pino with a big win. Second tick is in. And the slower they are, the longer it's going to take. And Silver's get here. Not fast enough. It is a hot 3-0 on the control. Seattle Surge just not able to keep up. An LAG back to looking like that. Final boss. Here we go. Map four. I, my mic was not working there. It's working now. That's all that matters. We got the boys we all know and love on the field at the minute. Seattle Surge in P1 to kick things off as LAG worry about that P2. So Esposito's going to give him a little run for the money here. Going to find one on a grenade from Kutcher is going to make him want to go aggressive. <coughs> Rosario just throws a bit of a free fire his way. No real worries. Another good hard point start for Seattle Surge. to say this is the this is the standard setup we're expected to see on these hard points and I mean Gil nearly getting all three there as Gwynard's the last man up and there's gonna be a pinch coming in and oh my god it's went from bad to worse to it for LAG Kutcher trying to hold them all off oh my Grenade gets a double kill, and then Esposito with a help on Rosario. Jesus. Kutcher is a scary, scary man. Shock sticks and thermites to block off the mid push. And it is 70 to nothing at the minute. I mean, this is brittle. LAG finally get a point. There we go. They're on the board. They're on the board, everybody. Get excited. And they're in time for new. None of this none of this waiting for the gunfight bottom orange before going up to the hill. Nah. LAG. 
desperation. They need the time. And there's actually it's a nice setup from LAG because you have two players sitting in mid basically playing the distraction card not letting Seattle get the time to breathe to come up to the hill but now they are going to get that time there's one kill and Pina's going to be the last man he's going to get traded though and nobody's going to be on time now and that's probably going to be that way for the rest of the hill as we head into the main building Seattle going to be set up LMG though, 50 seconds from that one hill. Gonna make this not look as bad as it potentially could have been. Big fight, Rosario loses it. Cholos is gonna lose his as well, and LMG. All pretty far out. Getting pretty decimated in terms of the kill feed on the scoreboard. And the KDs, they're just, it's, it's just not pretty everywhere, to be honest. And Seattle looking to do what LAG did, although LAG are going to get that break in, in the end, for a bit of scrap time here, if they can hold it. Seattle, rightly enough, are going to push this again. I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Kutcher, 18 and 10. He's finally woke up. And he is that player that can make a difference. Only one man for LAG in the kitchen hill. He's going to find one. He's going to be looking the wrong way. God, it doesn't matter. Oh my god, Tina just using the vertical prowlness. Of the three piece. Then Seattle, Seattle just run in. They just sprint into the hill and get all the kills. All four of them in the hill now. Leonard with some wall bombs through the door and Gil the only man up. He's gonna die. And again, everybody dead. Everybody in the hill. Bart Schulis, who's gonna hold this mid cross with a sniper. And we head back to P1. And if LAG can do something special here, Grano finds one. Pina's gonna knock him out. Gil out the back, and that is a double kill with a blade, and one with a gunny. Seattle. Just stopping any sort of chance from happening. Chillis will won. Trying to make a play with a sniper. Machine pistol out. Helps for one. Verano finds one. He gets traded. Pina with a double. Can he find a third? No, he can't. He's blind. Rosario not going to see Kutcher on the floor, and this should be the map. And it is the map. See how it surge. Again, get off to a hot start on the hard point and give LAG way too much to do. And we got a kill to game 5. And the only problem with that is that Seattle need to not get 4 out like they did in map 2. Alright, the older bots starting to make appearances once again. LAG gonna have the life advantage off the start. As normal. It's gonna be a 3v2 retake for Seattle Surge. Are they going to stick right close here? They are. Sarki's surely going to get an angle on them. No, he's not. NC finds one. Sarki finds the other LAG. 
just so nice to watch on Ascent Day. It's every time you do. The trades are on point, the kills are in, life advantage normally always there, and they normally have the ice when they need it. A 1 0 start. It's gonna be a full B push. Hennessy can't find anything. Manly drops a smoke. It's gonna be all on Chapman, and yeah, that is. LAG not ready for the speed. Actually, here they're gonna get the kill. That saves me any bother of any complications, because I'm pretty sure the bomb was broke. Seattle deny any 4-0s this time around. Chopper probably going to be the first one to meet a gunfight here. He's gonna get lit up by that grenade, should get Chapman, and it will. So, in this time you don't have numbers advantage, it's gonna be equal numbers. Bomb is still gonna go down today though. Seattle, and the player retake. And that's why, because there's one with a Fennec. Sarki should get the trade, and he does, and... Seattle Surge are going to just take their time, I guess. Maybe go for the same strategy as before, grip up and peek this door. Sarki in this corner could be huge, depending on what way he peeks this. And they don't peek it the right way, and Sarki gets the double from the corner. Do Seattle replicate what they did in the first offensive round? No. They're gonna slow it up. Manny's gonna have a big gunfight here. Alvarez, that's a huge gunfight win. Hennessy does get a trade and he gets bombed down. Bombed down in the building. He might just give that up though. Sarki's gonna come across here as well. See Tansenko, huge kill. Good trade again though. 2v2. Bomb's gonna go down. Hennessy might have an angle if this door's open. And he's gonna find one. He's gonna get the finish. He's not gonna snap on the Alvarez in time though. Too busy trying to finish the downed player. It's gonna be Chapman versus Alvarez in a 1v1. Alvarez has picked his corner. Chapman surely gonna go through closed. Which means that this probably benefits Chapman, Alvarez being in this corner. And if he's going to be looking there, so it will. Oh my god. Alvarez with the fast reaction times. Ties us up all square again. And that's just clinical. Clinical headshots. Here comes LAG with an A push, or a B push, sorry. Alvarez is going to find one. 
It's now going to be on to Chabber. I... Did he get one? Did get one. Okay. That was so confusing, because I feel like it should have been a double. Oh my. Still have bomb issues at B. Yep, it is still glitched. This bomb should have been down. NSC has just absolutely destroyed. I think it was Tansenko. This bomb is bugged. Okay. The fact this hasn't happened in... Well, a while. And we haven't played Fortress Search in a while. I feel like it might just be a Fortress Search thing. Therefore, I think I'm just deleting Fortress Search from the potential, you know, maps. I'm just gonna find the kill. Oh my. Gonna run away, so is he. Wow. Oh, this is such a tough one to call. Do I just reset it now? Oh, I can't I can't pick there, can I? itself. I don't know. Um, it hasn't fixed itself, has it? Oh, no, it has. Okay. Uh, I can't give that round to anybody. I really can't. Argument for both as to who should get that blind. One v one here to see what we do. It's not going to be the end of the match, no matter what. Oh, Jones with a big throwing knife. Okay. Lag should have had the bomb down, and they should have had the bomb down in a two v one. Yes, Seattle get the rotation. I th okay, right. This, this, this. No, it, it, it. This is it. Final round. No, it, it's map five. This is final round. Oh my god! Oh my god! Alvarez is my mate. Just probably won them this series. Uh, basically, I'm never playing Fortress Search again because the bomb plant plant bug is still a thing, and I haven't seen it in so long. I think it might just be a Fortress Search thing. Uh, so it's currently 3-3. Three, three. This is it, final round. And Chabert wins it. And Seattle Surge. I've won an S&D. <laughs> Seattle Surge take it in game 5. In what ended up being a very, very scuffed series. And slightly upset me but it is what it is and I'm gonna have to quick close because for some reason you can't leave yay 
that's the end of the stream.